So let's get started on this new mini album. I've used some 12 by 12 sheets and I've purposely picked some paper that's not got any pattern that makes any difference which way round it is. So because we're going to be folding the paper this way and that, we don't want any pattern being upside down. Or So I'll show you the sort of patterns I mean, this sort of thing, which it doesn't make any difference which way round it goes, this one, this there's this one and of course that sort of plane on the back it doesn't make any difference even this flowery one won't make any difference which way up it goes and the backs like that so if you choose those sort of papers that will be fine you could of course use plain papers or a pattern similar to this and all the same if you want to you don't have to use double sided that's different on back and front you could use papers that were all the same so we need to get out our 12 by 12 sheet and cut off that advertising strip that's on the edge, this little strip. If you cut that off so you've got your 12 by 12 and then what you will need to do is cut a piece off that 12 by 12 sheet which is 11 and 7 eighths which is going to be up there by 7 and a half inches. That's going to give us two pieces like that. We'll just discard that piece. That's going to be for decoration, so we can use that for uh, journaling spots and little pockets and tickets and tags and things. This is going to be the page. Then what we want to do is score it. So I'll get my scoreboard out. So pop the long side to the top of your board, so the 11 and 7 eighths at the top. And then we're going to score it at... I bought a new bone folder, can you believe? And I've searched and searched my room. Do you think I could find it? Not likely. And I was clearing out my puffy, which has got a storage box in it, and found it. But what it was doing down there, goodness only knows, but there you go. So I bought a new one and now I found my old one, which is about right, isn't it? <laughs> That's the sort of thing that always happens. So first score, three and a half. And then your second score is going to be seven and three quarters. And then you want to swivel it round so you've got the short edge at the top. And then we're going to go three quarters of an inch down one side. Like that. Okay. So let's put that one side for a second. You cut down on that three quarters of an inch line to that first score line that goes across the other way so that will give you this that's going to reinforce our binding strip and then go down to that bottom line that you scored across there go from that bottom line on your three quarter score down to the bottom. So what you're going to end up with is that's got you've got your score there which will just fold over. So this is going to be your binding and this will be your pages. So I have the two three quarter strips that I cut. They need to be bent backwards like this so that doesn't show there. And then what we need to do is we're going to take this corner and we're going to take that down to your score line that you made across so that's going to go down in a triangle like that that's going to make a little pocket and then you can crease that that way there now this will be a mountain fold so we know what a mountain fold looks like like that that's the mountain fold the first one and this one will be a valley fold like that let's just reinforce that so the first one a mountain the second one a valley next step then so that folds up this one folds under and then turn it over and that will be your front I'm going to glue mine with some scotch glue just along the bottom and stick that down I do use scotch glue quite a lot, it's my favourite, as you'll know if you watch the videos. 
And then what we want to do also is to stick this binding strip down. So if you've got a little bit that you think might need to trim trimming off, you can do that. Mine I think needs a tiny bit of trimming off. Have a look, pop it down and then have a look and see what you think before you actually stick it. If you want to just trim it slightly then do so. Will only be a tiny bit. There you go. That's it. But let's glue the shortest one down first so we don't have a very big gap. Just I wanted to keep the pages so that you could put six by four photos in. So the next step is just to glue that edge so that we can make a pocket there. Don't come too far in because we want to get a six by four photograph in this pocket. So I want it all six by four so we don't have to cut them down. You might have to trim one or two on one page. If you need a border around you might want to trim them a little tiny bit but there won't be very much. But certainly a 6x4 will fit in here. So some of these strips that I've got left over from my 12x12 12 12 sheets I decided I'll make some more pages because I don't have a lot of this paper and I need some paper for the cover as well and although this is going to be a small album I thought I'd make some more with these so what we need to do is cut these down to four and a quarter widths wise so once you've cut that width down to four and a quarter you can score it with the long side at the top score it at three quarters of an inch and then seven and a half inches that off, do two of those scored like that and then you'll have the two three quarter inch binding strips there and what I'm going to do is, is stick those together to make a double so that um, it's nice and firm. So now you can either leave these flat so let's stick that together first so that So that that's done because I didn't just want a single piece of paper for the binding because I don't think it'll be strong enough it doesn't I like it to be nice and firm Put that stuck down then it's up to you what you do then you can fold that back so your pages will come out like this you can make that into a pocket by just gluing here and here and then make that into a little pocket that you can put tags and things in if you want to or you can just leave it folded over and then we can fold this one either fold that one in that way or we can fold it out backwards as well it's really up to you what you do you can cut it off and make it shorter if you want to so we could cut that down to there that's another option or again you could turn it over like we did the other one and then just pop your photo inside it rather than stick the photo in so you have that option as well so for this cover you need it seven and three quarters by four and a half so two pieces of that and then we're going to score it at that three quarters of an inch on both sheets that will give us our binding strip three quarters on both and actually you could probably just go on the back as well and do it so turn your card over and just so we're making a nice crease on there do it both sides on each so if you're like me and you're a bit fussy about the measurements I have made a strip for the binding so you know where the holes go I've done this before on some of my other videos so some of you might already know about it uh, I've made the strip the same as the binding so it's three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter and I put a pencil mark up the middle of it which is three eighths of an inch and 
Then what I'm going to do is I think I'll, I'll probably put it an inch in from each side. So if we just might as well put it all the way across. If I just make it a pencil mark an inch in from each side, so I'll be left with this. And then I can get my proper dial and pop. If I get rid of what's already in the hole. <laughs> I can just pop my copper dial in and centre the little mark in the hole and then make your holes there. And I just use an old piece of cardboard or something off a old greetings card or something like that so you're not wasting your good card. Um, and so you're going to be left with that. So your holes are centred and you can use that. I usually write on there, so this one's four and a quarter, so I usually write four and a quarter on there. Sometimes I put that uh, three eighths of an inch so I know it doesn't make any difference, whatever you want to mark it as. Now, I often do these and I've, I've got loads of them and I keep them. This was an eight inch one and it's got all the every inch, it's, it's whatever you want to do. I've got lots of them. Uh, different um, sizes and then I've just got to pick this up and just put it on and make a mark and my holes all will be in the same place so if you want to do those then keep them so just pop those on each page make your whole mark with the pencil and you'll know that they're all in the same place so just do that because you need to get your dial clear and then you know it makes it easier you have to keep on measuring so I'm just going to use the same strip although it's not quite the right length I'm going to just center it into that cover binding and then just make my marks there so I know where the holes go and again just press those in uh, then all we need to do, I'm just going to bind it with some ribbon as I said. So let's thread the ribbon now. If you pinch the end of the ribbon, I'm using about 30 inches and it's half an inch wide. And if you get some magic tape and just wind it round the end, you can use sellotape as well but it's a bit stickier so it's not quite so good. Um, just wind it in, make that quite tight on the end and it'll be easier for you to thread through. Now this is the front, so we've got the cover on the front and the cover on the back there. Do it from the front so it's facing you and then go through each page and we'll go through to the end. I haven't made that very narrow, that end with that tape. It'd be easier if you can make it as narrow as you can. It's a little bit fat still. Anyway, you get the gist. Turn it over if you want to then. Make it easier and then go from the back cover towards the front. I'm sure most of you have already done these sort of things before, but for those who haven't, so we're just threading it right through. This is a nice, quick, easy way to bind your album. And just pull it all through. Pull the loop at the back if you want to adjust it so that you get your ribbon flat at the back. Just keep adjusting. Then just get your uh, ends more or less the same width or length, I should say, not width. That was a silly thing to say, wasn't it? And then you can just tie a bow. Uh, if you want to do a double knot in there, you can. I'll strengthen it a little bit more and it won't come undone. And then we can just make a bow in there. Then, of course, all you need to do then is decorate your cover. You can use all your scraps of paper up for that. Um, whatever you like really, put whatever you like on it, embellish it with all sorts of things, put some tags in, there you go. I use 30 inches, you probably get away with less than that, that's quite a lot. 
I've cut mm, a good, let me see, four inches. So uh, 25 would probably be enough. Okay, so that's your album. Then if you want to just bend that cover over a little bit so you've got your uh, crease reinforced and then all your pages are in there as I said all you need to do is make some tags and tabs and some journaling spots put your photos in put some embellishments in maybe some flowers and things and then that's a nice quick album